<sighs> Alrighty, y'all. Welcome. How you going? We're looking at a fun challenge today on video. This has been super overdue. Finally playing GeoGusser. All right, so we're going to do, I'm just going to jump right into this. I haven't played this in probably almost two years. I played this just briefly, long, long time ago for like a month, and I had fun, and I just fell out of it. So we're going to go back into it. I just signed up for it now, so this is fresh. So we're going to go to maps, and uh, you know where we're going. Sorry, guys, Emma brought me something. Okay, so as you can see, we have uh, a lot of places to choose from. We're going to scroll down to Australia. That's right. And uh, this will be a fun video for your comments. So first of all, go easy on me. We're going to see how I do. I really hope I do well, but it's going to be tough because GeoGuessr is on the ground. Sometimes it's different than seeing poster shots like this. Right? It might be a little hard considering I've never physically driven around Australia. So uh, keep that in mind. I might also throw in a couple rounds of somewhere else. We'll see how long this goes. And then uh, most importantly, your feedback will be important. I think this is going to be a lot of fun. I hope you think so as well. I would like to live stream this in the future. So tell me if you would like to do that with me as well as uh, some you know other challenges or other places you would like me to see. Any ideas and feedback is appreciated. Let's go. Here we go. Australia, home of the kangaroo and koala, the vast outback in the Great Barrier Reef is the world's smallest continent. I guess technically that's weird, right? But it's also the planet's sixth largest country. Welcome to the land down under. Okay, so it says it's only moderate. I don't know if that means how difficult it is or how good people do. <laughs> Here's proof you have not played this map yet at all. Here we go. Ready? Australia, single player. Default settings, no time limit. I do want to time limit because I don't want to get dr like dragged on. How about 90 seconds? Yeah. Here we go. You can move. All right. So here we go. 90 seconds. Oh, all right. <laughs> we are in the thick of it. Okay. We got garbage cans on the street. Garbage day. And we got houses up on this hill. Very interesting. We have an awesome, what is that? A Toyota or a Nissan? Nice SUV there. Kind of classic. Wow, dual spare tires. Look at me. This is not helping me. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to pan around. And uh, I'm going to keep this video kind of live, by the way. I'm not going to edit it. Another more weird cars I don't recognize. Okay, anyway, I'm getting tropical vibes. It looks like it's hot out. I don't know. I just get that vibe from the vegetation and stuff like this. Like, look at, the, look at all this tropical going on. So that makes me think it's either, I'll be honest, it makes me think Queensland. But I can't tell if we're on the coast. It's hilly, mountainous, I'm not sure which, but something nice. Is that a freaking ute? I think that's a ute, hell yeah. Okay, we're, I'm going to go with Queensland. It could be northern coast as well, but I, I'm thinking Queensland. I'm going to go around Bundaberg. How about that? So 10 seconds left. Oh, somewhere in here. Guess. Oh, no way. Guys, that was by Sydney? 589 miles away. It was by Kincumber and Gosford, just uh, north of Sydney, probably like an hour north or so. South of Newcastle. No way. That's, what's, that's what it looks like around Sydney? To me, that looked very, like, I don't know, like, very dark green, like, lush and tropical. I would have thought that was way up here north of Brisbane for sure. All right. All right, guys. I still got points, but uh, that kind of pisses me off. I, I, I have a higher standard for myself. Thought I would do better than that. All right. Here we go. Next location. Really need to turn it up now. Look at this. This looks like a Ford Fusion we have in the States. It's probably called something else there, like a Ford Mondeo maybe. But it's a wagon. We don't have a wagon version. <laughs> All right, enough cars. You know me. I get distracted by that. Wow, that is a gorgeous home. If that's a home, that's really big. These are pretty cool. Wow, this is like a rich area, I feel. Cool trees. Which way should I go? I should go this way. Guys, this is a little harder than I thought since I'm in random neighborhoods. You got to admit, this is kind of hard for me. <laughs> Even if I'm like pretty good at Australia, I mean... Unless I'm a local, this is going to be hard. Of course, I'm not, so I'm not a local. Very interesting architecture. I'm 
definitely going to be doing this more because it's a good way to learn about Australia on the ground as well. It's actually really fun, even though I'm, I have no idea where I'm at. Okay, it's garbage day again. <laughs> Dang, guys. Anything, any landmarks. There's a cool roundabout with a palm tree in the middle. That's uh, like Las Cruces style. God, I, I don't know. Um, uh, I'm going to say down here in Melbourne area. How about that? Oh, my God. I was way off. It only gave me 23 points. Oh, no. That was by Perth. West Coast represent by Perth. Let's see exactly where. I mean, we were really in Perth, too. Right by Inglewood. Mount Lolly. Anyone recognize that area? Dang, I totally was wrong. 1,700 miles away. All right, next one. Only 90 seconds. Ooh, we got an old uh, VW Beetle. Cool landscaping. This is really cool seeing these neighborhoods. I I really actually like these. Look at that old, uh, what is that, an old bus? Maybe it wasn't a Volkswagen. I'm not sure. Nice, a uh, nice utility or a nice ute there. Okay, any clues here? Oh, God, how far forward did that go? Went too far. Oh, okay. Oh, what's that say? Archdale, Coleraine? Come on, any clues? Any clues here? Ah, I can't read that. Thompson's something. Available for charter. I only got 28 seconds. Dang it, there's no clues, at least not that I know of there. Oh, my God. Guys, I don't know where I'm at. Again, school, Archdale, school zone. Yep, I'm used to those. We have those. Oh, man. Eight seconds. Oh, shoot. I'm going to go with Melbourne again because I don't know. Dang it, man. This was Brisbane? Guys, I'm a little embarrassed. I'm doing worse than I thought. But you know what? Even though I've watched so many videos, I've talked to you guys so much. I mean, I have been immersed in Australia for quite a while. And I, I do know a lot more than an average American that doesn't, you know, do what I do, right? I, I'm very confident I know a lot about Australia for maybe like an American standard for it being all the way, you know, on the other side of the world. This is fun and it will teach me a lot in the long run. To be fair, it's like on the ground, like you're you're looking at Google Street View. You know, it's like you're in a car traveling there. And how would I really know that even from the mail, from you guys? It's still kind of a shot in the wind. I can just get to be an expert on like maybe some certain smaller town names, uh, you know, possibly some landmarks, which are hard to find in neighborhoods. And maybe, you know, if I was really, really super smart, like vegetation differences between states or regions, but right now I'm not doing good. I mean, dang, this is round four out of five too. Oh my God. Okay. This is a really interesting region. I'm going to safely assume this is not near the coast, so I should guess inland somewhere. I don't know if this is considered outback, though. I'm not I'm not getting, like, straight-up outback vibes. I don't think anywhere near, you know, like, the center near Alice Springs or something. I don't think it looks quite like this, but I don't know. Look, at, I'm panning for no reason. Look, at, there's no clues. <laughs> it's just an endless road. Okay, um... The sun is way up there. The soil doesn't look as red, I feel like, as way out in the center of the country, but I'm not sure. Eh, it kind of does, actually. Okay, all right, I got to come up with something. Question is, is it inland New South Wales? Is it up in South Australia, up here near the center? Is it inland Queensland? This could be Western Australia. I really don't know. Ooh, man. I'm going to guess down here, maybe, in Western Australia. How's that sound? I got to. 
Oh my god, guys. <laughs> This is freaking hard. Damn. It wasn't even freaking inland either. It was right near the coast. Way up here. What on earth, guys? Darwin's over there, but it's not near that. It's just up on this, um, I don't know, if, like kind of peninsula up here. It looked empty. Like, Does anyone even live up here, guys? I know over here, you can see city centers over here. Darwin and surrounding towns, but I, I'm going to go on a limb and say no one lives barely at all over here, which is on this uh, road called B34. All right, I got next to nothing for that. 1,400 miles away. I only got points on a couple of these so far, and they weren't that many because I was still kind of far for, for my standards anyway. Final round. What do you think, guys? I, I got to like get this on the money to feel like halfway is decent about myself right now. Okay, so we got Asashi, we got Asi Beverages, Asahi, I don't know how to say that, um, Kingdom Hill, I need, I need a clue, what's this say, where is he, where did, where did you go, come on, I need something, I need a clue here, Ashdown, Ingram, Automotive, Control, OEX. Come on, give me something like, you know, like, let me see a, t you know, a taxi with uh, Queensland or something. Like that. You know what I mean? I need a clue like that. Something that's just like, gives me something. At least we're in an urban area. We're not in a neighborhood. Come on, give me something here. Okay, okay, Victoria, right here. Yes, car. Something, Tilla something, I can't see it. Victoria, so we know we're in Victoria. Is there a, is there a suburb called something around there? Four seconds. Okay, I got to put it down. Oh, my God. I was close. I was close, y'all. Hell, yeah. Tilla Marine, that's what it said on that sign. So I put my uh, my guy down here by Croydon North, just by random. But I, I thought, well, if it's Victoria and it's populated, I'm going to guess Melbourne. That's like the first instinct, right? And we did it. We got tons of points for that. 23 miles. When you talk about how big Australia is, look at that. I mean, that's pretty damn good, you got to admit. Now, granted, I had to find a clue, but... I found one. We were right over here in uh, northwest, sort of, Melbourne. Very interesting. 23 miles away. View summary. I got a bronze medal, probably just because of that answer alone. <laughs> the rest were rather painful. 5,850 5, points. Again, most of these were pretty far. I mean, this one wasn't too bad. The The... You know, sort of north of Brisbane to Sydney. That wasn't terrible, but, it, you know, not too great. The rest were pretty bad, though. But I think I redeemed myself. I feel okay about myself for the Melbourne one. That was awesome. Do more with that in coming videos and maybe live streams. I hope you had a blast with that. Maybe you got a laugh out of it. Like, wow, you don't know, you know, you don't know shit, buddy. I don't know. But uh, it's pretty hard when you haven't been there. <laughs> I'm going to play New Zealand. Okay, to end the video. Same, 90 seconds. All right, here we go, y'all. New Zealand, same deal. I feel like I know it decent from afar, but obviously I haven't been there, so it's going to be a little tough. All right, New Zealand, by the way, is just beautiful. I say this every time. Look at the rolling hills and the mountains back there. It's a very interesting place. Uh, we're in a countryside area. This is going to be tough because I really, again, I, unless I find something to go off of, I, I'm not going to know these random streets and areas down on the ground like this. It's just not in the cards for me. Going way up here. Come on. Let's go way up here. Give me something. Give me a landmark. Oh, I'm not seeing anything, guys. Well, can't tell if we're near the coast. Wow, look at these nice houses out in the countryside. That is freaking nice. Are those expensive out there? They might be. Especially if they've got some acreage. 
Now the map's not even wanting to move for me. All right, well, beautiful area. No idea where. No idea if we're on North Island or South Island. How about uh, I put her down outside of Wellington somewhere? How does that sound? Because I really have no idea. <laughs> um, I'm going to say somewhere like here, maybe. Oh, what was that? Did it time out? Oh, come on. That's not even fair. Well, that's not even fair, dude. Well, I was going to put it down by just north of Wellington. And eh, it was pretty far away, but it would have gotten me maybe a couple points. I got none. That sucks. That freaking sucks, man. <laughs> I didn't watch the timer. Okay, well, that's not a good start, is it? Come on, get us forward. I thought it let you, like, it was letting me double jump earlier. Again, no clues. God, that 90 seconds goes by fast. No clues here, guys. I'm just going to guess. Let me get one final look. Anything, anything, no. I don't see anything about power lines. <laughs> no cities, no coasts. I can't see anything. So... I'm going to assume it wouldn't put us down right by Auckland twice in a row. Uh, I am going to assume it's still North Island. So I'm going to put us down mm, over here. How's that sound? And I was totally <laughs> wrong again. Oh, my God. We were way down here, just kind of in the middle of nowhere. Not even by this Highway 1. Not quite at this mountain range. We were on some random middle of nowhere, guys. Yikes. Okay, 545 miles away. That's not good. All right, what do we got now? Ooh, this is a beautiful area. Looks like we're growing some stuff. Nice, beautiful day, it looks like. Look at that. Wow. That is picturesque. Look at the fields and the mountains in the distance. That is gorgeous. Wow, the scenery, guys. Okay, we do have signs. This is going to help me. So we have Omaka, Marl, Marlboro, Marlboro, Marlboro. <laughs> Damn. Bush flying begins here. Omaka Classic Cars, Aviation Heritage. This sounds like a fun area. Classic cars and aviation. Damn, look at how scenic that is. Oh, that is beautiful. So Omaka, where is that? Let's look. Let's go right here because I don't have time to look at anything else. Look at that car in the trailer. What is that about? Where's Omaka? Where's Omaka? Oh, I can't find Omaka, guys. Hmm. Come on. Give me, give me Omaka. Where is it? Oh, it's got to be by mountain range. Look for the mountain ranges. I'm going to put it right here. I, I don't know. Damn it. Oh, no. I didn't even get a check chance to check the South Island. I was running out of time. There's Omaka. I would have had to zoom way in, though, huh? Jeez. 281 miles away. Not the best. Okay. Round 405, y'all. Come on. Let's see what I can do. All right. So we have some water. Okay. We got a river. Hmm, not much else to go off of. That's going to be tough. Oh, God. Okay. I don't see any mountain ranges in the near vicinity. Uh, at least to the southeast or what's this? To the northwest. We have a river, though. I started zooming in. So I believe this is a river, yeah? But it's not near a mountain range, at least not terribly near, because I don't see any. Let's look at South Island. Okay, there's a river. What else? I'm going to go down here, guys. So there's a road. Is there a road that goes by there? I'm going to go right here. Ooh, not too bad. I got some points for that. I mean... 
not great, granted, but dang, that was way down here. That is crazy. How populated is New Zealand way down here, guys? Anyone have any idea? I imagine not many people live way down there, right? Jeez, that is down there. Okay, final round. Come on, let's see what I can do. We're right, uh, again, final round puts us in more of a urban environment, which helps because you can see signs and maybe some clues. Okay, stores, battery repair, discount stores, some building. What do we got here? The coffee shop, the coffee stop. Caltex, nice. Okay, I need a, I need a clue. I need more than that. Come on, give me something here. Scar, bro, construction. Joshua Motors. Pet Kiwi. <laughs> Come on, give me a city here. Oh, no. And this could be a town, like a smaller town or a big city. It looks like a smaller town, honestly. Come on, give me something here. Oh, no, guys. 20 seconds left. Oh, no. Give me something. Give me something. Western Springs? Where the hell is that? Oh, no. 10 seconds. Oh, no. Four seconds. Hamilton. There it is. I don't know. We were in Auckland. Dang it. Well, 70 miles. That's not bad. So, again, uh, just like the last quiz in australia 2500 points that's not bad i was only 70 miles away so not terrible oh still i wish i would have done better though let's feel the summary yeah for <laughs> i love how the first guess i timed out and it just puts me in the middle of the uh atlantic ocean by africa nice yeah seems legit that is my first geo guesser video quite frankly that was a lot of fun wow i could be addicted to that these are actually really cool and i do think it's fun you get to learn a lot i always say in other videos when we've done like walking videos and stuff i love to be on the ground and really see stuff from like a walking or a driving perspective i think it's kind of cool i definitely want to do more of these really really hope that you guys like these as well and hope that you're on board for doing more of these and maybe even live streaming like i said any ideas throw my way i hope you had fun with this one please throw a like on there and subscribe to be part of this amazing community that that's here your jokes down there about how far off i was on some of them but uh i'm gonna keep learning i'm gonna keep learning much more to come on this y'all my name is ian you watch the 9w rocker until next time catch you later